changing the transmission fluid. Look at five drain plugs. That's one in the center. Then in both hubs for this planetary, you have a small one there. Then here's your filter. And there's one plug. And when you drop the tail hitch, you can access that one. I make this kind of drain from old drain pipe. All those plugs were so tight that I have to shoot them off with this one. And without dropping the tail hits, it's impossible to get anything. I was thinking to remove the whole way hits, but it, it's not necessary. I still has, have to get that one. And I may use that this one with the impact. And then you feel it. Remo take this hydraulic oil drain bottle that drains this. That's the fill. And then you got here. That should be the <laughs> level. Not sure do I have to remove it to clean it or something. So I can see where the level actually is. There is actually like the manual says that these planetaries, there's like side wall there. So when you fill it up, it goes over the side wall and fills, fills this. But if you drain it from that small drain there, it doesn't let you like two or three liters oil from each side. It's probably that it doesn't contaminate the, because there was a little bit like thicker oil on both th that those side side or more dirty. But that's about it. This was probably this tractor's first old oil change. Before opening this one, I made this metal sheet, but I made the mistake that I didn't raise the hitch up, so some of the oil went to the hitch and to the ground. So it's better to lift the hitch up. It can be lifted without the tractor running, just use some long wood and or some hitch to lift it up and it locks on. Then put some kind of plate here so it doesn't or maybe even raise that that side up of the raptor if possible. Any of these, I don't think any of these have any magnets or that kind of stuff. But it's good to get this one because I think the oil comes from the pump. It comes from here. Or which way it goes, filter. The filter is probably before the, before the, this is probably the suction side. Yes, this is bigger, so it's suction. The pressure line is here. Pressure line, where it goes. Here, here. It comes to this valve block. So it sucks here. This is the bottom where the 
drives have to the front. So the bottom, bottom is part. So oil is there, then to the filter, then to the pump. And I actually think that this line here is the four wheel, four wheel drive. When this pulls, it gives pressure here, 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 and there. Behind this clutch back, it connects the front drive shaft and power to the front. And also, I think one of these is the um, long drive, also high speed, high speed drive. One good tip is to take off this right side step. It's very easy. Don't remove this this one. Just that bolt. Two bolts here, which are kind of like this. It's 17 millimeters on the back. And these front bolts have captive nuts, so they just screw in there. It's very easy to take out and you've got good access to the filter and to that drain. It helps a lot. Also, if I would do it again, I would probably take some blocks and drive the tractor on top of those so it, be, it would be higher. Then you can, even now I can almost like sit on under the tractor, so it's very easy. Filling up the system, it took like 24 or something liters until it was visible on the side class. I have to get new side class. But I fill it up so that I took this kind of garden hose and put a funnel and put the funnel here and put some wood here to support the funnel to there and the garden hose to the fill plug. Then you can pour it in here to the funnel and it goes in. That makes it easier to fill up. And that's about it. I probably, I can change the side class. So I drive the tractor nose to some ditch and then the oil doesn't reach the glass like it does now. This is like 40 one millimeter socket. This is probably the R1 thread, the close to 31 millimeters. It's probably a good idea to get new side class because even I cleaned the old one, it's very hard to see. It's sort of visible the level with air. With the flashlight, I was able to see the level. But the level is there now. I'm gonna get new one.